Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. Well, today is floss tube day and it is my 179th floss tube. It is June 6, 2023. Wasn't it just Christmas and snow and everything and all? Well, we have a new cup for June. This is my white rose cup, and it's one of four. I have four that I got from my friend Phyllis, who sent them to me a couple years ago. I love them. And so this is our cup for this month. It's the white rose cup. So what's everybody up to? Are y'all having a good day? I hope you're all having a good day and a good week. Yeah, here we are. Yeah. We did a few things last week. Just 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 a few, but not nearly as many as I thought it was, but yeah. We did uh some reviews. There were five of those. Two of them were like part 1, part 2 of the videos. And I got a package yesterday. I got my tea towels, if that's what they call them, from Hands Across the Sea. They came three for a certain amount, and I'm not sure how much they were. I just bought them. It was my Mother's Day present. So you have one in Antong Uffendale, 1835 from hands across the sea. That's what I'll show you what, you know, what one looks like undone. The other one is Ann Thomas 1854. You know, the one I thought I wanted to do. Yeah, and it's gonna have to be done on like even weaver linen because it's all that wording is one over one. And then we have Jane Fittis, uh, 1835. Whoops. So, this is what they look like undone. They're quite wide. I don't know that it says, what does it say? No, it just says 100% cut. I thought maybe it told the size. Nope. But... They are just beautiful, and I thought that I could use it to, uh, hope you're seeing it all, but it looks so real. You know, it's just like somebody took a photograph and put it on there. Looks like the actual thing, doesn't it? See, I can hang it on the wall and nobody will ever know the difference, right? No, I thought I'd cover up my, uh, You know, when I do my counted and I have it on my hoop stand, I thought this would be the perfect thing. Because it's like, mm, it's yard wide almost. And it's all nicely turned under, you know, like top stitched. But it's really nice material. I would never use it to wash dishes with. It doesn't, it feels like a slickery material so it feels like drapes if you will that's how heavy it is yeah so I'll be using that to cover up my cross stitch when I'm in between everything so I got that this week or yesterday actually and then we had I did four starts this week four I think work. So let's see here. Okay, we don't need you yet. So one of the starts that I didn't even do a video with. This is from oh gosh. I wanna say VIP. I'm not sure. Crap. I'm trying to get it to come out of the bag. It is this one. It could have been um, from someone else. I'm not 
real sure. Yeah. So I just sat, watched TV, and I've been working on that background, which is half cross stitch. So I got that far on that. And I did work, I'm making sure it's right side up, um, a little bit on the beehive. I just put in one color in that beehive. So yeah, it's just kind of an easy thing. I don't have to think too much. And I don't have to watch too much. I wish I could remember who the heck I got that from. If you know, put it in the description box below. I, I, I didn't look it up because for some reason I didn't write on the back of it. And from New Craft Day, see, it didn't get a bag. That's what happened. I got the cats and the tulips. I just love the colors in this. It's so arty. Yeah. And I started up here in this corner. Just because I like the blue. And... I don't know if you can see this or not, but I've been working from here like straight down. Just working in the colors because the cat's right here. And I didn't want to start that. It's either, I think it's 310. Yeah, it's 310. So, yeah, you can see on the back how much I did get done. Yeah, they just kind of all blend together, kind of like an impressionistic painting. So yeah, that that's coming along. Whoa, let's not use lose the colors. Oh, I thought that was excess thread. My bad. And yes, there's two needles there because Laura can't remember to get up and put one away. Oh jeez. Some days. All right, and I started the begonias in the moonlight. And it looks like that. Isn't that pretty? Hmm. Gorgeous. So, I got a little bit further with it. Just right in here. So, it's coming along. And I just added those and then I can do the background, which is probably 310 once more. Yep. Probably. But yeah, I like this. It's easy to work on. And it's only a 30 by 53, so it's not very wide. So, been working on that. Now, this part is the part I can't remember if I started this week or if I started the week before. have to get the right one. Hold that thought. Yeah, this is my Tai Chi bag. Hold that thought. Stay right there. That goes with the boxes. So this is... Hold that thought. This one. Sorry. My bad. I'll come out a little bit. But it's the pink, I call it the pink and white dragons. And I'll pull it back. Yeah. Love these. So I worked on this till I couldn't see straight. So I had to quit for a while. But I got most of his head done. I'm just going to fold this in half for a second just so the light doesn't go through it. And I got most of this part done. And then I had to quit because, yeah, I was pretty much done for a hot moment. When the colors, not the colors, but the symbols, one was a Y, one was a V. It's like, try to figure out which one you're actually on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I made some progress on it. So there's still some colors to go in there on that dragon. But yeah, I really like these small ones. And they're 40 by 
either 40, yeah, 40 by 40, I believe. Come on. Yep. And this goes with this. And this is the foxes that look like that. Isn't that pretty? I love that blue and that orange together. It just, it just does it. So I didn't get much done on it. The same thing was happening. So I got a little bit in here and a little bit right up in here. So yeah, not too much. And I did, hang on, I got to get everybody together. Whoops, put that orange in there. I know it belongs there. I tried. I don't know which one it is. Hang on. Hold it. This is the bird. Hang on. We're getting there. There's four of them in this bag. My bad. All right. So I tried to start the other dragon dragons that look like that and holy cow it was not that day because it is confettied through the whole thing and my brain just couldn't handle it so we got that much done there and that much done there not this week. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't know. Just can't deal. So, let me get all this back in here. And I've got probably 10 more coming. Different ones. From various places. But, yeah. That's all my starts. Yeah. And I also worked on, I think it was yesterday actually. I don't know if I have a picture of it. It is the cockatiels and the flowers. I don't know if those are even showing up well, but yeah. So, I've been working down here. I'm trying to find a home for my needle. Just been working in the bottom right hand corner. So, I'm coming up here and I want to get that rest of that red done that we worked on yesterday. I never got back to it because, yeah, I had to go to work. And then when I got off work, I was just kind of a vegetable. Yeah, that's the way that went. So, yeah, and sorry for the crinkly bag. I also worked on, ta-da, no, uh, nothing big, nothing exciting. We're going to be in this corner forever. On European town, trying to get the white in, but it was fighting it, and my finger is about wore out from stitching so yeah it was not pleasant to stitch on just because my finger was killing me so yeah we didn't get much done on that but we worked on it and that is everything i either started or worked on um yeah so i don't know about this week or what we'll be working on or doing I have nothing planned for the weekend, so everything should fall into line as normal, as far as that goes. Next week, my friend will be here, and that'll be towards the end of next week. Yeah, I don't know how the cat's going to react to them being here. Who knows? She'll probably not come out for another month. I don't know. Molly was totally in love with this this person that comes all the time 
yeah, she liked them better than me. So we'll see how the cat reacts. I got her out one of her mice right before I started filming. And she was in the hall just flipping and flipping and flipping. She loves them mice. Thank you, Jill. Hope you're getting to feel better. And I hope, you know, I don't know. She was in the hospital last week. Maybe. Yeah. And they finally let her out of the hospital. So I hope she is recuperating well. And if anybody else is out there sick, I hope you get well soon. So you can at least enjoy your summer. <coughs> and today is very cloudy again. So next week it's supposed to be in the 70s. I got nothing. We'll see how well that works out or if they change their mind. But yeah, it's just, it rained. It was sprinkling when I left work yesterday at three o'clock and it rained for a little bit. I went inside, so, you know, I didn't know what, you know, what else it did the rest of the day. I wasn't even paying attention. But uh, yeah, it seems to be raining a little bit in the afternoon. So we'll see. All right, guys, I think that is going to be about it for this week. I know it's kind of a short one. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.